kayong lahat, lahat ng masaya, umalakpak sa Panginoon. Hallelujah. Good morning everyone. Wherever you are and whatever you do, you are blessed today. I am bringing you today the message about what will happen to you when Jesus returns. This is the day that the Lord has made. You have many reasons to be joyful and be glad because the blessings of the Lord makes a person rich and he adds no sorrow with it. You may try to satisfy your soul with all the riches and the splendor of this world. Only the Lord Jesus Christ can satisfy the longings of your soul. The Bible said, Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. God is not His law to fulfill His promises. He will do it for you. What will happen to you when Jesus returns? When the Bible speaks of the coming of the Lord, it is not speaking of death, but it is speaking of the personal and visible coming of the Lord Jesus Christ on earth. At the time of Christ's ascension, while the disciples stood watching him go up into heaven, two angels appeared to him and said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand gazing up into heaven? The same Jesus will come into like manner as you saw him go into heaven. Jesus will come in the same manner in which he ascended into heaven. The disciples saw Jesus go back into heaven. And we who are alive during that day will also see him coming down from heaven. What will happen to the world when Jesus comes? What will happen to the unbelievers? What will happen to the Christians when the Lord comes again? These are important questions and let me find the answers for you today. Since we do not know exactly when the Lord is coming, we should be ready for His coming at all times. The proper attitude of all Christians is to be always looking and waiting for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Even though we do not know the exact time of Jesus' return, we do know that He is coming soon. We know it by the signs which the Bible gives us concerning the time of His coming. There are signs that uh, we should consider for us to be aware that Jesus really comes very soon. First, the signs of wars. We know that there is always wars. We have been seeing that, we have been hearing that all the time. But Jesus said that the end times would be marked by a great increase in the number of wars. For nations will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Since the World War II, there have been more than 45 wars, 12 of them majors in a scope. Second science is the science of famines pestilences and earthquakes in different places never before in history have the scientists recorded so many earthquakes as they have in the last 20 years the sign of israel is next 600 years before the time of christ israel ceased to exist as a nation the Jewish people were scattered all over the earth. But the Bible prophesied that God would bring his people back into their land in the last days. 
and not the barren desert would blossom as a rose. This has been fulfilled in 1948 when Israel became a nation. Fourth sign that we need to consider is the sign of Jerusalem. The Lord Jesus gave an even more specific sign of the end times. This sign concerning the city of Jerusalem. The Lord Jesus said in Luke chapter 21 verse 24, Jerusalem will be trampled by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. Jerusalem must be controlled by the Gentiles. Those who are not a Jews, for about 1,900 1, years. But in 1967, the Israelis captured the city of Jerusalem. Fifth sign is the sign of the ten federated kingdom. The Bible says that in the last days, there will be a confederation of ten nations out of what was the old Roman Empire. The European common market could possibly be this confederation if no other confederation of nations arises in the future. The European Union will stand to fulfill this prophecy. Six signs that we can, we can see is the peace effort of all the leaders of the world. Another sign of the last day is the great increase in peace conferences. But peace effort have failed and will continue to fail until Jesus Christ comes. He is the Prince of Peace and no one can duplicate it. And there will be no peace in the world until he is reigning for the millennial kingdom of the Lord. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 33 verse 7, The ambassadors of peace will weep bitterly. And the last but not least signs that we need to consider and see is the sign of trouble. And the increase of knowledge. The Bible says that at the end time, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. The sign of great wickedness is also there. The world is not getting better. Instead, it is getting much worse. This is a fulfillment of the words of the Lord Jesus. Jesus said in Luke chapter 17 verse 26 As it was in the days of Noah so it will be also in the days of the Son of Man. It was a time of great wickedness on the earth. In Genesis chapter 6 verse 5 says God saw that the wickedness of men was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Another sign is the sign of spiritism and witchcraft. The current interest of Christians in horoscope, fortune tellers, Witchcraft and Spiritism is another sign that we are living in the last days. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 1, Now the Spirit expressly says that in the later times, some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. Another is the sign of apostasy. The Bible tells us that the last days, just before the coming of the Lord Jesus, will be marked by great apostasy. 
The word apostasy means a falling away from the truth. This is living godly and at the same time living worldly. What do these signs tell us? They tell us that Jesus is coming soon. He could come anytime, even this very moment. The Lord Jesus said, when you see these things happening, know that the kingdom of God is near. What will happen to you when Jesus comes? First, you will not be surprised when Jesus comes because you know and hope he is coming back again. Second, he will change your mortal body with incorruptible one to meet Jesus on the air. In the twinkling of an eye, the Bible said, we shall be changed instantly for us to be able to be with the Lord when he comes in the heavens. Third, you will be separated from your loved ones and friends who refuse to believe and not accept Christ as their Lord and Savior. Fourth, you will be judged to receive your crown according to what you have done after you become a Christian. Fifth, you will be joining the marriage supper of the Lord Jesus Christ in heaven. The celebration of all believers with the Lord. Six, you will come down with Jesus and watch him defeat the forces of the Antichrist at the Battle of Armageddon. Seven, you will reign with Jesus Christ on earth for a thousand years. The Bible said that all believers who came down from him from the marriage supper of the Lamb will come down with him to reign with his with Jesus in his kingdom. This is the kingdom where prosperity of the world will be realized. And this millennial kingdom, Jesus Christ will now be the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Whether you like it or not, he will compel everyone to confess with their tongue that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of God the Father. Anyone in this world who have put their lives in the Lord, who trusted in the Lord as their Lord and Savior, you have to be ready because Jesus is coming back again. And the comfort that we have is only when we trust in the word of God. The Bible is the only documents that prove that all of us who are Christian and who are believers in the Lord will be comforted despite of all the pandemic that happens throughout the world. The world is no longer going back to where it came from. The Bible said, redeem the time for the days are evil. That's why we need to be prepared whatever may happen to this world where we are living. The Lord is willing to take you up and to give you eternal life as He promised when you receive Him as your personal Savior in your life. Thank you very much for listening and I hope God will always be with you, guiding you into all truth and the power of the Holy Spirit will be upon you now and forever. Thank you and God bless you all.